This morning, passengers and crew aboard a ship trapped in the frozen sea near Antarctica can see their rescuers. For three days, they have been locked in ice near Stillwell Island, about 1,500 nautical miles south of Hobart, Tasmania. As Bill Whitaker reports, their freedom is now on the horizon. The Chinese icebreaker Snow Dragon was the first to come to the rescue. What's that on the horizon, Chris? That's the icebreaker coming to rescue us, Alec. Brilliant. The passengers and crew of the academic Shikovsky could not have budged without its help. Three weeks into the trip, the weather turned bad, pushing the research vessel into treacherous waters where it became trapped in a hard, frozen sea. The bad news is the sea ice edge is about 20 kilometers out from where we are now. A long way from when we first got locked in the sea ice. We spoke to the lead scientist, Chris Turney, by Skype. It's a common misconception down here that everything moves at glacial paces and it just is not the case at all. It just changes so quickly. Trapped since Christmas Eve, the researchers have endured freezing winds approaching 50 miles per hour. In spite of that, um, everyone's doing remarkably well. 74 scientists, tourists, journalists and crew left New Zealand for a month-long scientific expedition to study Antarctica's wildlife and waters. They're retracing the steps of Australian explorer Douglas Mawson, who made this trek in 1911. He was stranded for two years. He endured fierce Antarctic winds, much like Turney's team. We're actually in a blizzard at the moment. Turney says it's good three icebreakers are coming to their rescue. There is a possibility we're going to need two ships at least to get us out now. The, the ice is quite thick down below. We were having about uh, two meters or so of sea ice. He says the research team has renewed respect for the explorers who first did this more than 100 years ago. To experience this and see just the force of nature and how quickly things can change, it's a, it's a humbling experience. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Los Angeles.